Hither everyone, so out of nowhere, Anthropic has released their Cloud Opus 4.1. As you can see, they are saying, Today we are releasing Cloud Opus 4.1, an upgraded version of Cloud for Opus, and we see improvement in agentic tasks, real world coding, and reasoning. They also say that they are actually planning to release substantial improvements in the coming weeks. So let's get into the benchmarks, guys. So, one of the favorite benchmarks of the Anthropic team is Sui Bench Verified because it measures the agentic coding and software engineering performance of models, and you can see we do see slight improvement nothing much likely what is expected from an incremental update we go from 72.5 percent to 74.5 percent a two percent improvement but there's more to it the company is saying that there is notable performance gains in multi-file code refactoring some companies find that opus 4.1 excels in pinpointing exact corrections within large code bases without making unnecessary adjustments you know this is something which is one of big concerns with llms when you ask it to do one thing it will go on and do many other changes which you didn't ask for and that will completely break your code base so they are saying this model is less likely to do that and surely we'll be testing this when we'll be doing the agentic testing of this model also windsurf says that this model has the same performance jump that we saw from sonnet 3.7 to sonnet 4 let's look into other benchmarks so this ui can be a bit confusing and you know overwhelming so what i did is i just asked cloud opus 4.1 to actually give me a slideshow presentation format in html css and js so this is a way to actually do some initial tests you can see i've shared the image of the benchmark and this is what I've asked. Give me this data in a slideshow like format where each benchmark is a single slide and we have horizontal bars of model performance. And have a look at this. What I've said is give the colors to the models which the company is likely associated to mostly. So I'm expecting it to, you know, give green color to OpenAI models, blue to Gemini models and some tint of red to anthropic model and if you look into the reasoning you can actually see it has given orange lighter orange and light coral to all anthropic models and green color to open ai model and blue color to google that is nice so let's look at to the benchmarks and also it will be a kind of a sneak peek into opus 4.1's performance so this is the ui it has created right off the back it looks very nice let's start off with agent decoding you can see sweep bench verified previously cloud 4 sonnet was actually better than cloud 4 opus but now cloud opus 4.1 is actually the better one so next is agentic terminal coding or terminal bench here you can see the previous best was cloud for opus with 39.2 percent the newer version sees a meaningful improvement and scoring 43.3 percent moving on to gpq at diamond which is a reasoning benchmark you can see gemini 2.5 pro is currently the best when it comes to this particular benchmark talking about the opus model you can see slight improvement but nothing much has changed but we have to understand the benchmark is very close to being saturated so small improvements also make big changes talking about agentic tool use or tau bench here you can see again we see slight improvement we move from 81.4 to 82.4 just one percent improvement moving on to mmlu which is multilingual question and answers here you can see we see slight improvement 88.8 percent .8 goes to 89.5 percent we don't have data for gemini 2.5 pro that is the reason it's kind of showing as zero moving on to visual reasoning again you can see openai o3 is actually the best one over here and uh, Again, we see marginal improvements, nothing much. Talking about AIME 2025, you can see OpenAI O3 is actually the best out of these models, but I think the best model for Max is O4 Mini. And I think that is going to change very soon when OpenAI will release GPT-5 in just few days. So if you're not subscribed, please make sure that you have subscribed so that you can see in-depth analysis of these models and how they compare against each other. Here we see the biggest improvement. We move from 75.5% in Cloud for Opus to 78% in Cloud Opus 4.1. I think we thought Terminal Bench was, you know, the biggest difference, but I think Max is a domain where we actually see more than 2% improvement between Opus 4 and Opus 4.1. So as you can see, guys, it's kind of an incremental update when it comes to benchmarks, but there is more than benchmarks, guys. So we'll be doing agentic test, coding test, and testing the reasoning of this model. So we'll be doing all this testing in the coming days. And yeah, it was actually a surprise anthropic came out of nowhere and released the opus 4.1 model so we'll be doing all kinds of testing make sure you subscribe with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one